Once upon a time, I knew my seem to go. I was in your head, you got me alone. They shaped my hate. Um, um, okay. I hope you don't mind my, you know, bad singing. But anyways, once you start wearing a wig that is literally like a cap and you can just pull it out and pull it in like whatever you do you know like there's no going back you know it's uh, this uh, hair wig is a lot better than wearing that you know that literally takes time for me to you know do the concealing and all of that and that's a lot of shit yeah anyways hi guys welcome to my channel talking about wigs and everything today I'm going to be repairing, not exactly repairing, but giving my damaged wig a makeover. I know, I have done makeovers on my face, on my body, not exactly on my body, yeah, on my body kind of, and a lot of shit. But today, it's something that is not on my body, okay? Like, not technically on my body, but if I wear it, then it's gonna be on my body. Hey, this wig. Ew. Looks like I've just pulled out hair from someone, but it's literally a wig and it's like so fucking damaged though like, you know, I, I cleaned it and shit because, you know, I would just wear it for cosplays and just throw it anywhere around and I know that's a very bad thing to do. And this is a pretty damaged one and I'm gonna make it red and pink in color with some hair extensions. Now, this is another hair extension that, you know, I would normally wear to you know make ponytails and stuff and you know look like a Rihanna Grande <laughs> so this is also pretty damaged but you know we're gonna do something with it and you know make it look pretty yay <laughs> so basically my plan is to you know cut these like the clips the clip sides I will just you know cut into you know small small fragments so basically it's gonna be around one two three four five five different hair fragments and then i'm going to stick it to my blonde wig with a hot glue gun and i know this is something you know like really really different i know you can relate to it i don't know but maybe you did a lot of projects in school but i never used a hot glue gun before i know i've never used a hot glue gun before but you know like though i used to do a lot of projects i would always use the fevicol or febquick or something like that but not the hot glue gun but anyways, let's see how we're gonna do it. First, I'm gonna cut it and then... Whoa. Shoot, shoot. Whee! I know, I'm getting lamer day by day, so I don't know why you guys are subscribed to me or you're going to subscribe to me, but please subscribe to my channel. It will really mean a lot to me. I love you guys, and please follow me on Instagram. Okay, please follow me even on Twitter. Okay, I don't have a lot of followers, so please, 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 please. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a hair! Ooh. Why is it not working? Like, how does this thing work? Like, it heats up, right? Oh my god! Ooh, hot glue gun is actually really cool, you know? Why is it like, oh my god. Hey guys, this is done. It looks like a big mess, but at the same time, it looks pretty, you know? I don't know what to say. I mean, a lot of hair is falling out because I literally cut off the extensions. So yeah, that's true. But yeah, this is the wig. You know, here I have to apply a bit of black hair color because, you know, this looks really bad. But okay, let me try and wear it, okay? Ah! Hi, guys. Oh my god, guys. I have hair. This is literally a look. Like, you know, it is like, you know, like German Shepherd, but not exactly German Shepherd. And I don't know what to say. But yeah, this is a look. But yeah, I have to really like, you know, work on the hair color and shit because um, I'm not really liking it a lot. Anyways, hair is falling off and oh my god, it's a big fucking mess, but I like it. Oh my god, such long hair, guys. Guys! So I got these three hair dyes, one black, black, one pink, and one red. So I'm gonna use the black on the roots a bit and then I'm gonna move on to have half red and half pink. So I hope it works out. And they are not really expensive hair colors because it's literally a wig. So yeah, that's one more thing, hey. So here's the hair dye. I literally forgot to wear gloves. So that's one more thing. And you can see my bloody hands. It's not blood, guys, I promise. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, I miss doing this so much. This is lovely. 
I guess I have a hair color addiction for some reason, like seriously. I damaged my fucking hair with you know this hair color and I should really remove this wig and then do this but oh my god I missed it. I missed this! I literally you know did a lot of like red on my forehead and I don't know if that sentence even makes sense but yeah I put this wig on the juice bottle and now I can you know apply it very nicely without spoiling my forehead and my hands. I mean my hands yeah whatever. Ooh. Okay, this wig. See, you can just wear it as a cap, and you know it's so big. So yeah, it's so cool, you know. And doesn't even look that fake. Like, does it look that fake? Does it? Does it? Does it? I don't know. Comment down your opinions, guys. I'm gonna like not color it that nicely because I want you know a bit of blondness still being there. If that makes sense. I love doing this. I can do this forever, guys. Just you know, if I go to jail ever, I know I won't. But if I do, you know, if you see me in jail, don't, uh, you know, cancel me. Just put me in a cell with, you know, hair color and some wigs. Or even my own hair, I don't care. But yeah, I'm just going to continue doing it. And I'm going to do it on all the prison prisoners and stuff. And, you know, it's going to be so cool. Like, I can do this forever. Fuck. I, I, I don't even mind getting life in prison with, you know, hair colors. You know, that's my condition. Otherwise, I'm not being guilty. I'm just using my hands at this point because I'm so professional guys I'm like so damn professional I love how professional I am okay guys so I finally decided I'm gonna get a law degree and I know you all be like what Trishni I thought you wanted to be like something in the entertainment industry yes I do want to become an something in the entertainment industry but the thing is it's you know like it really depends on my luck so i need a backup plan and that's what like like my parents have been telling me since the beginning you can do whatever the fuck you want just get a degree and like you know if you don't become a big youtuber or a big actor or a model or whatever the hell you want to be then you can you know go and do something that you want okay so take a degree which you actually like so i really thought about it i thought about it for you know a long ass time and i was like thinking 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 and i was like you know what i'm really interested in true crime i'm really interested in people being guilty and innocent and you know i really want to defend people who plead guilty and innocent i don't know maybe a criminal attorney so i was like yeah let's see you know if i don't become something that i like like an actor or something then i can at least move to the place that I'm studying at, like, you know, move to a place which is, you know, which has a lot of scope for the entertainment. So, I'll be moving to Mumbai. Not really, I guess I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, that I'm gonna move to Mumbai and pursue a law degree for five years and, yeah. And by that time, you know, maybe, you know, I could go for some acting workshops, maybe get a diploma somewhere and then, you know, proceed to you know do something in the entertainment industry maybe get a, a job of you know a beauty stylist like an a acting as a beauty stylist or something that'd be so cool but yeah i'm gonna i'm thinking of doing that so you know i do have a backup plan and if i don't become an actor or anything if you all don't get me famous then i'm just gonna you know become a lawyer and defend some serial killers guys oh my god did i just get I just get like hair down on my eyes no i do not okay this is the black you know and oh my god i can feel my mom just you know storming in the room and be i like fucking to him and seeing me do all this and just be like what the fuck are you doing like this wig is already damaged bro why are you doing this she's not gonna call me bro but you know i'm i'm trying to make her look cool you know guys she was really cool she is cool if you guys <laughs> Oh my god, guys! Oh. Okay, I, I try to wash my hands, it just did not go because, of course, it won't go, you know, my dumb ass. So, anyways, this is done. This, whatever the situation is, this. There's a lot of, you know, it looks like a murder scene, honestly, and I'll probably sue myself at this point, but yeah, this is done. I'm just gonna wait for it to, you know, settle in, and then we're gonna wash it off, and then we're gonna dry it, and then we're gonna wear it. I mean, not we. I'm going to wear it, okay? I'm gonna be wear it. I don't know why this thing like YouTubers have of saying we. I mean, even I'm a YouTuber, so like we. Why do you have to say we? Because is it because of the camera? Like, I don't know. At this point, I feel like the camera is my imaginary friend. Hi, camera. 
Hi. I'm not saying hi to you guys. I'm saying hi to the camera. Bye guys. Hi camera. Just to show you guys the mess. This is the mess guys. Oh my god. And I like have a lot of hair here. <laughs> and there is a mini mask. Hairband. Hmm. Wow, nice. This looks like an art scene. Oh, there are sandals. <laughs> okay, let's look closely to this. And honestly, I did a very bad job. I'll probably get, you know, sued by all the hair colors and all the hair wig companies or something. Or They just don't care. I don't know. But yeah, this is really bad. Oh my god. I should really do the roots, but who cares? Ugh. It looks like a hairline now. Yeah. E. If you feel like the audio is a bit different, it's because, you know, I did not put on the microphone before, you know, this clip. So, yeah, that's it. Now, yeah, this is done. And I'm gonna wash it. And then we're gonna dry it. I'm gonna use the hair dryer after so many days. Woo! Hey, people. And I'm disappointed because it did not work. It simply did not work. You can see water dripping down. It's not working. It did not work. I don't know why. Maybe hair color doesn't work on wigs or something. I don't know. It did not work. What the fuck? I did use developer. Oh my god, I wasted so much of hair color. This is not done. I'm like seriously disappointed. Uh, I mean, yeah, I am disappointed, man. Like, I know it doesn't seem like I'm disappointed, but like, literally, that's how I am. I mean, I act like, you know, everything is okay, but it's not okay. You say that you're fine. You're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay guys, that was all for this video. I know it did not work. I don't know, I have to try different methods I guess. But whatever, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a big disappointment. Anyways, please give a big like, subscribe, comment, share and yeah, that's all. Everything is stained and this is what happens. Bruh. And in case you wanted to see the bathroom mess, this looks like a murder scene. Ugh. Clap your hands if you're sad. <laughs> At least my makeup was good. Like, oh my god, I look pretty right in this. This is someone. This is normal. This is